I got a first look at the Eyelet Insulin Pump from Beta Bionics. The pump that only requires you to put in your weight and doesn't require you to carb count. Welcome to Diabet Tech. I'm Justin and on here I talk all things diabetes tech news and management and I've got videos coming out every single Friday on here so make sure you subscribe and give this video a like. I also have a podcast and on there I interviewed the CEO of Beta Bionics and learned a ton. That is coming out on YouTube and on all major podcast platforms on Monday so be sure to check that out. I got a look at the insulin pump how to program it, what it looks like. So I'm gonna show that to you today and tell you everything I know so far about the pump. So let's get into it. I've got the Eyelet Beta Bionics pump right with me and I'm gonna walk you through kind of how to use it. In order to unlock it, you just gotta hold down on the top. Then there's an unlock swipe. I'm gonna swipe that, there you go, it's unlocked. This is the home screen in the center. You've got your blood sugar level. So if I tap in there, I can see the chart. So you see the three hours, I can go in and change it to six hours, to 12 hours, and you can even see when you logged a meal, which I'll get into in just a second. And there's this little, like what looks like a calendar in the top right. When I tap that, this is essentially your Dexcom Clarity Info. So in many ways, this device can act as your go-to dashboard for sugar levels, stopping sensors, looking at Dexcom alerts, and even your Dexcom Clarity information. To log a meal, it's a little fork and knife. And with this pump, all you need to do is choose which meal it is, so breakfast, lunch, and dinner. When you go in there, it asks you how large the meal is. So if I tap in there, it asks for more usual for me or less. Now from the home screen, there's also the little insulin vial on the top. From there, that's where you can change your cartridge and your tubing, fill the cannula or fill the tubing only. And it even shows you how many units are available. I'm used to only knowing when it's 50 or less. This one will show you pretty much from the start how many units are left in the vial. Then in the top right is the little bell. This is the notifications. If, it, if your battery's running low or other notifications will show up here. Then you've got this little hamburger menu in the top left. That is to access a bunch of things. So first of all, you can put in your blood sugar levels if you want to calibrate. That will calibrate directly to the Dexcom app. Then you can see the Dexcom button. I tap that. I can literally stop the sensor from this pump. You can do that on the T-Slim, you can't do that on Omnipod 5, so that's a cool feature to have here. You can also go into CGM alerts and adjust your CGM alerts. This next one right here is a phone icon, and that's because there is a phone app. There will be one on iPhone and Android upon launch. I don't have that right now to take a look at, but as soon as I do have access to that, I'll show you. Then you've got the volume button. You can change the volume of the device from high all the way to low, even off. And then for this icon, it is the history. So it shows you the history of alarms, meals, your infusion sets, and other information. If you want to just take a look back, you can even show your endocrinologist or diabetes educator that information. Plus, all of this information wirelessly transfers to the smartphone app. So you'll have access to this, and so will your uh, educator and endos as well using that system. And then lastly is this little settings button. The whole point of this pump is to not give you or overload you with too many settings, but there are a few things that you can customize. For example, you can customize the CGM target. So it's gonna give me a little warning there. I'll press continue. You can do the usual target, the lower target, and the higher target. Then you can also adjust your sleep CGM target. So I go in there, I can turn that on, and it will also ask me what time I'm typically going to sleep. And then the single thing you're putting in, the single setting is your body weight. Right there, I'm gonna tap in there. You can change this pretty much as often as you want, but from my interview with the CEO, he said you really shouldn't be going in that often unless your weight changes by 15%. And then other. This is where you can turn on limited access, which is a great feature for children if you don't want them to have access to changing some nitty and gritty settings. Now let's talk about this charger. This is the charger for the pump. So this is technically a Qi charger, which is spelled QI, believe it or not. And that is the same type of charger you use for most electronics, like an iPhone, like an Android phone, that charge wirelessly. Beta Bionics recommends that the 
Islet only be charged on this one. I think that that's some regulation with the FDA, but I tried it and it also does charge on my iPhone charger by my bed. So do what you want with that information. The charger, it's pretty bulky. It's charged with a micro USB, which to me is outdated technology. We should be only charging things with USB-C. I put that on there. The device will start charging and then this light turns blue, letting you know that it's charging. The device still doses insulin when it is charging. From what I was told is that this device charges it about 1% per minute. This device specifically doesn't have any openings on it for charging or anything. And that is because it is water resistant and dust resistant and almost even waterproof. Although they recommend you don't go swimming with this or shower with it. You just leave it out while you're in the shower. Now let's do an infusion set. This has been factory reset so I can set it up. Choose English. I'm going to put in A, B, C as the name. And then timing wise, that's good. That is today's date. Got some instructions on the pump. I'm going to go to fill tubing. Let's change out this pump. Two infusion sets are supported at launch, both 90 degrees. A six millimeter steel cannula with a 23 inch tube and a six millimeter Teflon cannula. So I'm going to use this cannula set, not this one. I'll click the bell, go to the pump, and then I've got a list of things I need to do. CGM sensor, that's all set up. Insulin cartridge. Good. Okay, right now the piston is going backwards, retracting. That way it can soon be used to push out insulin. The insulin cartridge kind of reminds me of the in-pen cartridges. Betabionic says that these will be available pre-filled with Fiasp at launch. The pump also supports Novolog and Humalog. I filled the cartridge, placed the cartridge in the pump, connected the cap to the infusion set, then I pushed the cap into the cartridge and twisted it in place. Next, I had to fill the tubing and wait until I saw a drip come out of the cannula. Then I retracted the mechanism, placed the tube in its holder, placed it on my fake human flesh, and the last step, just added in my weight. And that's it. Time to go bionic. What do you think of this pump? Let me know in the comments. Would you wear this? And if you're on a Omnipod right now, a tubeless pump, would you consider going back to a tubed pump if it meant less decision making? That's something that I'm currently thinking about and honestly curious about trying out. I wonder if they'd give me one to test run for a few months. That could be pretty interesting. And perhaps the most exciting thing is where this pump is going. Out of any pump on the market, this is the only one I know of that is currently working on a dual hormone setup. This could be a true bionic pancreas, one that is completely leveling you out using glucagon and insulin to keep you in range and not have highs and lows. I've got more content on this pump and coming on this channel every Friday, podcast every Monday, so make sure you subscribe, give this video a like, if you enjoyed it, that will also help people find it. I'm Justin, and I'll take you later.